Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Angelina Jordan launched to fame when she was just eight years old. And while many child stars lose their mass appeal, I can't wait to unravel why her voice and artistry have continued to develop way beyond the extraordinary. Let's get to it. I was thinking to myself, wow, those are amazing shoes, but the Angelina Jordan that many of us know doesn't wear shoes when she performs. There is a really big backstory behind that, which you should read into if you don't know more about. It's very touching. But uh, luckily, we saw those bare feet come up as she's about to take the stage. I just have to say, her hair is like really extraordinary. I like the statement of it. I also get really strong Amy Winehouse vibes from her style, but I'm gonna go back here one more time uh, see if we can pick up any other details and then dive into her voice more. It's definitely got a retro feel, which goes with her entire vibe. Is that mom, maybe? It's crazy. She's only 17 now, and she looks much older. What happens when you start your career that young? Mistakes and regrets ain't all that I have left. Cause your touch and your sense still on my skin. so entranced by her tone it is it's developing in so many cool ways you could already hear when she was really little that she had a really special tone quality but there's talent that you're born with and then there's what you do with it after that and what i'm really interested in right now is where is she taking her career she had all the makings of a brilliant, brilliant career. So what is happening now? One of the things that I see is she's not only doing incredible covers like this one, I think this is a cover of uh, a David Guetta song, which he also does really, really cool work with tons of singers. Um, but she also is doing originals and just releasing a ton of music. And she's being really strategic also about which covers she's choosing to do, how much original music she's releasing. So if you're interested in seeing where her career is going, I suggest you really look at the strategy of how she's releasing things now. Uh, in this first part here, this first vocal part, I hear that she's developed a sound that has so many intriguing and complex tone layers to it. So we have part that's got almost like a brassy, edgy sound. Again, I keep thinking about Amy Winehouse. I think there's a lot that she's taken from Amy Winehouse, but she's also found a more laid back approach to her singing that just has a, a little more funkiness in it as well. Um, and she's got that brassy edge, but then she's got a really nice... I mean, she's developed her breath technique in an incredible way. And you hear this layer of air in there too. You hear relaxation in the sound, particularly from the vibrato. It feels a very, very relaxed, but not so much driven. And then when she goes down into one of her lower notes at one point, it just expanded out, which told me she's really working on this sort of very lean focus at most times, but is able to just balloon the sound too. So lots of really 
very specific things she has done with her tone quality. Mistakes and regrets Ain't all that I have left It's your touch and your sense Still on my skin That moment when she goes down, I love the expansion that you hear. A lot of times a, a female's voice doesn't develop that kind of expansion until much later. So it's beautiful, really beautiful to hear that now. I have left this your touch and your sense still on my skin. Maybe I'm a fool to erase the trace of you. Cause no, you know me, at least that's how I feel. I love the way that all of this sounds effortless. It's like she's just, she's been continuing to hone her craft for such a long time that things that would take another person, a ton of focus, sound natural and easy for her. It's lovely. She always did have a certain ease to her sound, like it was just automatically there. But I'm just hearing a refinement on it now. And I think it's very smart that she's combining, again, that sort of retro feel with a contemporary sound. She's bringing in some Adele here. I even hear an artist I, I dig named Jen Wigmore. Um, I think there's a little like bite to the sound, um, a little sassiness to it. So I'm getting both personality that is now and very relevant to um, people of a younger generation as well as an older generation. So she's crossing a lot of things. And I really hope that this continues to uh, help prolong that mass appeal. At least that's how I feel. I'm trying to pull you close, closer to me. But it's just like trying to catch small. that uh, instrumental expansion that happened right there. So far, it's been super stripped down. So we just got tons of her voice and all the little tiny details in it. So we could hear all of those layers of the tone. But then right there, we started to get a little more filling out of the soundscape, which was a nice, oh, I just, I don't know. I felt like a little drop in my stomach. <laughs> Closer to me, but it's just like trying to catch small. I like the way, I just want to point out that vibrato at the end. And she does a, it's almost like a tiny bit of fry off of it. Again, bringing it a little bit more contemporary in the feel overall. One more time. Me, but it's just like trying to catch small. It's so nice. That line has got so much smoothness in it, but it, again, it has the focus on the sound. It's got this beautiful breath on the sound. Uh, it has clear enunciation. There's just like all of these little tiny details in here that take so much time to mature and sound really great. To me, but it's just like trying to catch small. I like the way she's embraced a sort of a sort of a dirty aspect of the sound where it's got this again that fry kind of sound like a bunch of creaking that's happening as she's going in and out of different notes. Um, she could have just gone totally clean. Uh, she could have gone like more Whitney Houston, which I, I've heard her do a Whitney Houston cover too. Extraordinary. Uh, she, there's so many different directions she could go with her sound. 
And yet she's really choosing to hold on to this sort of rawness in the sound. I think it's hard when you become very seasoned to say, I'm going to keep that part unless you've been very deliberate all along. And I, that's, that's an excellent, excellent decision. The floor, I'm so there was a really good example and like it almost creaks in and out of the phonation. She's got such an amazing sense of pitch. She's always had that, but it, it's just so easy. <laughs> I like the way she overlaps that section. I just have to say, it's it's really nice to hear her voice in this. This song, I, I've heard a few different versions of it, and it feels like this retro version just matches it overall so well. Again, it's like, it's funky, but relaxed, has some good soul in it. Very, very good vibe for her. I'd be really curious to actually hear her do a collab with David Guetta too, because she does amazing things with voices does produce them a ton gives them all kinds of extra sounds but i just feel very impressed by how he makes space for the raw vocal as well okay let's go back to that switch over and then we'll keep going That breath and that phrase was so good. <laughs> she's a rock star with breathing, but just pay attention to when she's breathing versus just having these pauses that are like sort of hovered with air still continuing out. <laughs> Here, this actually reminds me a little bit of Dimash in the way that he sort of interpolates extra air sometimes to carry us from a note to note, almost like it's a little extra sigh out. So the singing isn't just about the phonation. It's about that breath energy, wherever it is. If it's taking a breath in, if you're letting some more out into a sigh, it's you start singing the moment you take a breath. <laughs> For me, if you had a soul, I know. Her voice is really easy to get lost in. It's just like you listen to the details here and there and there and there. And I just, I just keep going, mm, mm, oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that one's nice too. <laughs> it's like so many little nice things that she's doing. <sighs> I'm going to go back a little bit because I just wanted to let it roll for a bit and enjoy. <laughs> okay, back one more time. We'll stop and talk about some of these details. It's not about feeling lonely. Okay, so right there is a great example of that really easy, refined diction. It's She's going for something that feels casual but has to be clear all the time. And it's going by fairly quickly, but it feels relaxed still. It's not about feeling lonely, but man, I just can't forget. And though you're not here beside me, I still see your silhouette. I'm trying to pull you close. 
I love the way that that's got a syncopated rhythm going on, but it, again, it feels like it's just flowing. It doesn't feel jagged. She's able to, it's a, like a bluesy, jazzy feel, the way she's able to go down that and make it so smooth, yet so precise at the same time. Another part that I love is the way that I've mentioned ease so many times in her voice. It's the way that her voice is so present all the time, yet I doubt she's ever singing loudly. It sounds like she's saying at a medium to medium soft volume all the time. She's on a microphone, right? So that's going to help with the projection. And of course, it's mixed afterwards, which helps too. But she has that focus in her sound and a way of using her breath that just keeps us with her. It helps us hone in on her voice all the time. And she's not pushing one bit. That is a very smart survival strategy. But it's just like trying to catch small. That on look was probably one of the loudest times I've heard her in the song so far. And I think it's like maybe medium, not even like medium loud. It's nice when sometimes we'll talk about a vocal budget. I love talking with Chris Lipe about this. Um, if you guys know him, he's got a pretty awesome channel. So check his channel out too. Um, and we'll talk about vocal budget, this idea that uh, you need to put invest into your voice, you have a bigger budget to draw from, but you still are drawing from it. If you're singing something really loud, really aggressive, like you've got a body that's working to make those sounds. You can't go to the gym every single hour for every single day and expect your body not to feel sore the next day. So you can take out of your vocal budget uh, and spend it wisely and then put back into it. This I love this idea. In her case, you can tell she is budgeting for an entire career. And she's been doing that since very, very early. I hear that especially in how there's so much ease in everything that she's doing. She's, it's like uh, pilometrics a little bit. There's a, uh, when you're learning something that's difficult, it can take a ton of concentration, a ton of energy. And then when you start to ingrain it, it starts to take a lot less concentration and energy. And if you try and do 10 billion things at the same time, you're just going to blow your voice out. But she's been working and honing these things very carefully. And as a result, I hear them and they're taking just the tiniest amount of energy. She has actually increased her vocal budget and decreased how much she's taking out of that when she's doing a song at the same time. It's, she is so set for a very, very long career. This is, I often hear that Amy Winehouse influence or the Adele influence in her voice, right? And this is actually one way that I would say she's got a leg up because she's not pushing her voice to the limit. She's expanding that limit again and then just finding an easy place to be. Oh, it's, it's just so smart and it sounds really good. I'm on the floor, I'm begging, oh.
the, that very last moment, you can hear the way she goes in and out of that tone uh, phonation with that breath again. Yeah. Right there. Really cool. Cool effect. I love hearing stars who take care of their voice and who refine it and continue to help it grow with so much intention. I can tell that she is continuing to become more and more extraordinary. And I love the way she's so carefully approaching her career while continuing to give us tons of awesome music. If you wanna see a few other analysis of her work, I've got a playlist over here for you and I hope that you'll continue to check her music out and fall more in love with music every day. Thank you.